Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time we're going to be taking a look at my very earliest carded figures, that's the ones with the Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back logos, as well as looking at my collection of signed action figures. So I've got some which have been signed by the various actors uh, in the roles and uh, We'll then decide which ones um, are the best and which ones I should prioritise popping into a, uh, a brand new GW acrylic case to get them looking absolutely as good as possible. So anyway, that will be the subject of today's video. So sit back, relax, and let's get to it. Okay then, so the only other early figure I've got on an original Star Wars Palatoy card these days is this one, which is Luke Skywalker X-Wing Pilots. This was a uh, British Palatoy, and uh, it's a 20 back, this one. Collect all 20. Nice little advert for the, uh, the Death Star there. And I've had this one ever since I um, started collecting the the action figures, seriously, uh, from the early 90s. I remember buying it as a kid and really liking it. I was a little bit disappointed that um, there was yet another Luke figure and I wanted you know, a bit more variety, but even so, it was pretty cool. I never had the X-Wing toy as a kid to put the, uh, the pilot in, but I did actually have Luke. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice example, this one. Um, I imagine this has got to be, um, Tiny, you can see like a tiny little bit of dust there and that maybe just from storage because it's been in a star case all this time so uh, I think that's probably a definite candidate to uh, to get cased up that one for sure I would love uh, some more in that range but they are all a little expensive now <laughs> so now we move on to the Empire Strikes Back figures and this is a USA Kenner figure for Re the Rebel Commander. And uh, this is quite interesting, it's got that little uh, Walgreens sticker there, $3.95. Um, this is one that I got perhaps about 10 years ago, as the, uh, the, the one that was in my collection had a damaged bubble. Um, so it's quite nice, and I, I took the opportunity to get one on, on a bit of an earlier card, um, just for a bit of variety. I do love the Empire cards, and I'd like to get some more of those. It's interesting, it's got a 41 back. So there is a little bit of wear here. You see it's been like, you know, that's probably done at the time, to be honest. It's not been done since. A little bit of card edge wear, but nothing too bad. I mean, and um, I've not tried to get that sticker off. I should just leave that there. But once again, I think that's a real nice example and a nice clear bubble, which is what I, I particularly like. I'm not finding that with uh, a lot of the Jedi figures. Now the next two are also on Empire Strikes Back, but these are the uh, the British Empire Strikes Back. These are the, the Palatoy versions. So this is a 45 back. It hasn't got the Palatoy logo on the front anymore, but it says Palatoy on the back. Certainly one of my favorite characters, the Cloud Car Pilot. That's a pretty nice sharp card, this, with a, uh, I'd say an almost perfect bubble. Um, you can see there's a, like a little bit of wear there, possibly where there was a sticker that's been rubbed off. Um, but it's very, very light. It's a nice gleam to this one. And it's got a glossy back to it, uh, dated 1982, and it's got the British uh, the Bounty Hunter symbol there, which was always nice on these, wasn't it? This has got to get collect all 45, and then send those back to uh, Palatoy HQ in Leicester. So yeah, really Really nice figure, that one. And then in the same vein, we've got a Imperial TIE Fighter pilot. So very, very similar. Nice flat back. Once again, in the light, I can almost sort of see an outline just up there where possibly a sticker was uh, back in the day. Just a little bit of dust here. So this one, I need a tiny, tiny little delicate clean to uh, to get it looking A1. But once again, a nice Palatoy clear bubble, absolutely fantastic bubble on this one. It's also, it's got an identical back. It's a Collectal 45 with the, uh, the Bounty Hunter logo to cut out. And very, very nice. Absolutely love 
love those. They make a great pair, don't they? I think those would look really good in uh, in cases. So that's those ones. Now, I have got, I've only got a couple of Power of the Force figures. So um, before we get on to the big run of Return of the Jedi and Tri Logo figures, I thought we might as well get these, all these odd ones out of the way. So here's one of my Power of the Force ones. This is quite nice. It's got the traditional Kenner yellowing here, but it's unpunched. It's never been uh, put on the shelf, this one for Warrock. Um, once again, a little bit of dustiness, but nothing, nothing to worry about at all. Nice, solid, solid bubble. Um, on the back here, you can see just around the sort of extremities, a little bit of wear where it's been sort of, um, you know, it was on the shelf, or it was in a, in a dump bin or something like that. A Collector 92, so there we are. We've got those last uh, few rare figures along the back there. Um, no sign of Yak. <laughs> um, and I've got these. I remember picking them up at the time because I wanted sort of a representation of all the different um, lines, you know, different logos, and, and I pretty much got that. So uh, a few I've had and, and since got rid of. But um, And this one would have been very, very similar. This is uh, another Ewok and it's Romba. Also Power of the Force with the coin. And uh, it's got exactly the same, the same back. Collect all 62 coins. And uh, yeah, they're nice those. I mean, in, a, in, a, in actual fact, because all the rest of my sort of last 17 are uh, on tri-logos, it would be almost nice to trade these for, to have a tri-logo set and have the whole lot on the same cards. But um, as I said, I don't mind. It's quite nice to have these as a little variation uh, to the collection, just so I can say I've got all the sort of different sorts. So that's those there. So that's my early ones. And I think looking at those, I would definitely like to to put into cases for the, the Luke X-Wing for sure. Uh, probably both of those two as well, the Cloud Car Pilot and the TIE Fighter Pilot, because they're both so, so darn good. Um, now, the next thing we're going to look at is my signed figures. So over the years, back in the uh, early 90s, when I started going to Star Wars shows, there always used to be the occasional media guests, much like there are today. Um, and back then they were only charging like a tenner of signature, if that. Um, so I took the opportunity to get certain bits signed and um, I would always check who was going to be at a show before I went along. And uh, I would dig out bits from my collection to get signed. And as you've seen, if you've seen any of my other unboxing videos, I've got all sorts of unusual things signed by cast and crew. Um, but these are my signed carded figures. Um, now I know some people are a bit on the fence about this. And they think, oh, why are you, uh, why have you bothered, um, you know, getting these signed? You know, they're defacing them. But um, I disagree. And um, you know, if I, I would have had the opportunity to get some stuff signed by Carrie Fisher, but you know, I wasn't at the the, the handful of fairs that she did in the UK. Um, but you know, if I'd have if this was a lovely Princess Leia figure and it had been signed by her, that to me would be worth far more than an unsigned one. So, you know, I guess it's horses for courses in a, in a bit of a way. But let's go through the ones that I've got. So this is um, signed by the Niem Num actor, Richard Bonehill. Um, so Niem Num was part puppeteer. It was uh, controlled by a puppeteer and part an actor for the sort of wider shots. Um, but yeah, Richard Bonehill was the guy when he was in the actual costume. This is um, an American one, can you see by the yellow bubble, bubble there? Uh, Kenner, collect all 77 back, uh, dated 1983. So that's that one. I'll pop those up there a little bit. Next one is a tri logo, and it's Wicket W. Warwick. It's, this one's signed by Warwick Davis. This is also unpunched, a really nice clear bubble, such as the tri logos are, which I absolutely love. It's got a matte back with the uh, Collect All 70 back. And there we've got our uh, blacked out Ewoks. We, and I'm sure he's watching today, another fellow Star Wars YouTuber. So that's really nice. That uh, Warwick Davis is a, a really, really friendly guy. And uh, if you ever get a chance to meet him, I suggest you do. Um, and also this Ewoks figure. So this is uh, from the Ewoks animated series. So I'm not a fan really of the Ewoks uh, animated series. And 
I'm not really a fan of the droids, but I've picked it up as I've been going along in my travels and uh, I ended up with this uh, Wicket figure. And um, much like the American Power of the Force, it's got a coin there. Um, this one's also been signed by Warwick Davis. The actual card, unfortunately, has got a bit of a tear there where the sticker would have been. Um, but it's still nice to have that one um, with his signature in gold along the top. Obviously, they only did those handful of uh, figures for the Ewok line. And this one's dated 1985. Next one is this Empire Strikes Back kind of one. Now, this has got a little bit of a, a ripple. You see, it's not exactly flat. But I'm wondering if, um, and it's got a bit of crease in there, but all the same, it's a nice figure. And I'm wondering if I got this into a GW acrylic case, if this would help it sort of um, lay a bit flatter. But this one's been signed by the actor who played Greedo, which is Paul Blake. And that's on a really unusual card that the free um, Secret Star Wars action figure with four proofs of purchase. I really like that little flash on it. Although they put it right there. It would have been better up there, wouldn't it? Or over there, but they put it right over his face, which is a bit silly. Um, and then on the back, is there any example of one of these I've got? So it's a Collectal 21, but on an Empire one. So it's a very, very early Empire Strikes Back card, possibly even the first one, um, first card for this figure, dated 1980. And uh, there we got the first 21 on display there. Really, really nice figure, that one. I do like that one. Um, so the next one we've got is the Imperial Commander. Now this is on a British Return of the Jedi card. It's got the bubble just, just starting to turn, but it's still nice and clear. Certainly clearer than the, uh, the American Kenner ones of the other time. Um, this one is, um, signed by Julian Glover. This is actually the last signed one I got, and I did make a point of uh, getting a photo of the actor with the figure, so I shall pop that in now. The back of the uh, card is, is, is the standard Collectal 65. And this is one of those ones which has got the line through, uh, through uh, part of the address, I believe. Um, but yeah, quite a nice one, that. And uh, good to meet that actor and uh, Get that figure signed. Next we've got um, this one. So this is a R2-D2 sensor scope. And this is once again on an American Kenner card. This one's got, as you can see, it's got a heavily yellow bubble, like a lot of these have gone now. Um, this one was signed uh, by Kenny Baker, who I met at one of the, uh, the shows. I met Kenny a, a couple of times. Uh, once again, a really, really nice guy. Always uh, cracking jokes. A big long heritage in the Star Wars films. This one's a really nice card actually. It's Collectible 65, it's unpunched. Um, apart from the yellowing of the bubble, it's a really, really nice, nice figure that one. So I do do like that little R2. And next one we've got is uh, a Kenner Darth Vader. So this one's signed by Dave Prowse. So again, we've got the yellow bubble in there, but apart from that, it's a really nice, nice flat, flat card. It's been punched. I remember Dave Prowse would often put as a signature, Dave Prowse is Darth Vader, but I asked specifically to just put his signature rather than um, his usual spiel. That was nice and bright, that. that. That card back is particularly a bright one. So I'll see the collect all 65 is pretty cool and this one's a real highlight um, this is a really nice Kenner carded Boba Fett and um, it's funny but the bubble yellowing doesn't seem so bad on this one I mean it's there for sure but it doesn't seem so severe um, it's a really nice one signed by uh, Jeremy Bullock who's himself now retired from doing uh, convention appearances. I think you can still send stuff in to get signed, but he uh, he has not he's not doing actual appearances anymore. He is getting on a bit now. Um, this one's a lovely unpunched one. Collect all seventy seven. I think um, that definitely deserves to go into a uh, 
a nice new case. What I would like to do then, so out of all the ones that you've seen, I would like you to, in the comments below, you decide which ones should get um, cased up first of all. So, I mean, eventually I'd like to get all the collection done, but uh, in each video, I'd like you to sort of prioritize which ones are either the most valuable or you think are the ones which should get cased up first of all. I'm not talking about which ones I should get officially graded because I'm not prepared at the moment to go down that route because I'm not worried about anything having an actual grade. I'm not looking to sell any of these. They're just for them to look as good as possible in the collection and be protected. So which ones would you recommend I get, um, get encased? Um, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you would have seen that I have done two already. So this was that rather nice Meccano Jawa figure. Absolutely fantastic. I love how this one has come up. And that was a really, really delicate card that I just had loose in a box. So it's much more robust now. It's literally ready to go on display. Absolutely fantastic that. You cannot stress how much I uh, I love that one. And then the other one I had was, of course, this Palatoy R2-D2 12-pack, which is another absolutely gorgeous figure. Um, and uh, this is, uh, I mean, I know they look this good when they're graded, but... Um, uh, as I said, I don't really want to go down the graded route, so uh, I'm more than happy to have them looking as good as this, because that's fantastic, isn't it? Now, that's the end of today's video. So if you have enjoyed looking at these, do please uh, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave uh, your comments down below with which ones you think I should put get put into cases next. Um, don't forget to subscribe for regular vintage Star Wars content. I get new videos on Star Wars up virtually every Friday, so uh, there's always something to look forward to. And I shall look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.